Now I'm going to demonstrate painting the monotype plates. Now this is different from painting directly on paper um, for several reasons. Mostly you have to experience the difference and um, try out all of these techniques in your test prints. For this first video, I'm going to show additive techniques where we're going to be applying color to the Duralar. Now this has already had um, the dish soap applied to it and that has dried and I'm going to be painting right on top of the surface that has the dried dish soap. I have uh, two watercolor brushes here, some water, um, my primary colors of paint. I like to also have a paper towel or rag to dab excess color from my brush in case I want to do that. So you can work for your test prints. I'd like you to try at least some that are just very um, freehand, just experiencing what are the different kinds of marks you can make. Um, how does the color behave when you dry it out a little bit? When there's less water in your brush? And how does it behave when there's more water? How does it move? How can you move it around on the monotype plate? And try different brushes as well with those two ideas. So dryer. wetter, even more water. And those of you who have painted with watercolor before will we'll recognize that the, the color does move on the plate um, differently than it does when you're painting directly on paper. Um, and you can try, one thing it will stay wet longer, so you can um, do wet on wet techniques mixing the color. Um, you can also mix the color on your palette. Try some different colors. See how that's different than dropping it in. You might want to have more than one water container ready. Let's just see what's what it looks like if I mix up some orange and just put that in. And so you can see how the colors, because they're not soaking into the Duralar, stay on the surface and give you a lot of time to play with some wet on wet techniques. Now this is totally freehand, playful. I wanna make sure that you do at least one that is totally abstract, just experiencing the paint. Um, you can also, though, make a drawing, like a pencil drawing, or several of different ideas you want to try out and see what it's like to paint those. So you can use the drawing as a guide underneath your Duralar plate because you can see through. So I'm just going to try and apply some of those techniques to my drawing. Maybe I'll do a, a little bit of painting around my image here with the color that I have left on my brush. You don't have to do everything that was in your drawing that was maybe just a, a, an original idea and you could uh, tape it down in the edges if you don't want to have to hold it. I was just kind of eager to get started so I threw it on there. You will want to check and see what it looks like without the line drawing underneath as well. So you lose some of that distinctness that's in the line drawing. But you can you can get some of that. Let's try a little bit drier brush, the round brush, and I'm as I'm drying it, I'm pulling it into a point. And I'm gonna do some. Now this, these aren't lines that were on my drawing, I'm adding some new ones. Just experimenting with how thin of lines I can get. And so these are lines painted directly on the dry Duralar 
what would happen and please ask yourself what if as you're doing your test what would happen if I painted into the into the wet with more of a dry brush how would that look so try some lines into the wet maybe I want to reinforce that outline a little bit more and as you're working the color will dry and it will respond differently to the wet color that you're adding and discovering what happens is part of the fun of the process and why I want you to make as many test prints as you have time for the more that you make the more you'll learn about this technique and what's possible the more fun you can have discovering Um, combining techniques um, let's say I don't want these lines here anymore I could paint over them and if I brush a couple times they'll, they'll just totally be erased and that's another big difference between watercolor monotype and painting watercolor on paper where um, you can't erase with watercolor on paper And in the next video, I'll show you more techniques that are like erasing, but you can actually use um, to make images. And to prepare for that, um, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to try and make as flat of a color as possible. Um, although something that happens to me is I get bored trying to make as flat a color as possible, so I might on purpose add some variation um, so I'm going to paint all four of these with fairly flat colors and then I'm going to come in and work on the design in the next video but this one I'm going to have a little bit of brush work to give some some visual interest a design to respond to here so those two I did with my flat brush. Let's see um, what I can do with my round brush. I'm just trying to get coverage on the whole area with a, a color so that I can then demonstrate um, several different techniques for removing color in interesting ways. But as you do this, try out different textures.